Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to show you to get all the collectibles for chapter 5 for the game Celeste. Now, this chapter is annoying and really tricky at first, but uh, it really isn't as bad as you think it is once you start doing it. So, there's a lot of fine-tuning mechanics, there's a, lot, there's a lot of things in this one that really kind of uh, change the game up a little bit. So, that being said, I'm going to talk about the two new mechanics. First things first, there's going to be a new form of bubble. Uh, the first, uh, it's going to be a red bubble instead of a blue bubble. Basically, when you hop into it, it'll launch you in whatever direction non-stop you uh, are basically directional. So if you go into it and you press right, you'll end up going to the right as far as you can until you hit a wall or really until you decide to stop. It does refill your dash meter, so you are able to do it. You are also able to go from a red ball to red bubble to red bubble, so uh, just keep that in mind. Now, for the strawberries in this one, um, I didn't really get them in any particular order. I, in fact, I didn't get them uh, according to how you should get them with how the game thinks you're supposed to, but that doesn't change the fact that you can kind of get these, uh, most of them, in any order you want. Just make sure to keep an eye out for, uh, like I said, just getting them all, because once you hit the next section, you're not able to go back, and that's the only real kind of hiccup. So. Now, as you've seen so far uh, with this one, there are going to be little platforms that when you dash you'll actually end up making the platform itself move. These are tricky in the fact that sometimes you need to plan your jumps with uh, while being attached to them or while being on them or anything like that. Best thing I found, especially if you had to hold onto it and then dash into a certain area, is that if you actually dash into the platform instead of away from it, you'll end up being able to stay onto it, I guess. Second part of this level will also have a, uh, the first enemy, you could really say. And that's going to be like a little ghost fish illusion thing. Um, they'll chase you around and they'll dash after you. You can jump on top of them and you'll be able to uh, knock them out temporarily. So kind of keep that in mind. They still are very annoying. Also with that, I'm going to mention too, there's going to be a specific section. The very last driver you get um, is probably the hardest one in the game by far so far as I've seen. It took me a long time to try to get it just because it, it takes a lot of timing. It takes a lot of everything. Um, so you need to really make sure that you follow the guy. There's two ways to do it. One I saw is that you can actually have the fish uh, hit it and activate it. The other one that I decided to do, which is going to be um, the only way I was able to get it, was when you knock out the fish, they actually um, they'll create a little bit of a shockwave when they come back. So once you knock the fish out, you make sure you're standing below it, and then you have to actually jump on top of it when the shockwave happens, and then you'll have, uh, spoilers, a Crystal Theo and you'll have to throw Crystal Theo at the switch in order to activate the strawberry. It's it's really confusing just to say, and it probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but when you get to it, you will end up seeing exactly what I'm talking about, and it kind of it will make sense at that point, because it is, it is not a fun one to get, so just be wary that that will take you a couple of attempts. That's about all I got for this one. I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of it play through like always. Uh, I will have timestamps, like usual, for the different parts of the chapter, as well as the Crystal Heart and the cassette tape, so make sure to check that out. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you like other game related content, that's kind of what you do, so consider subscribing. Did you think this was the toughest one by far, uh, for as far as chapters go, or am I just, again, I'm starting to think I'm just really bad at platforms, because this, this game's giving me a lot of trouble, but maybe it's just me. Either way, let me know what you think, if you, this is kind of hard, or if it was just me being stupid. So that's about all I got, so thank you all for watching. I've been Ezra, until next time, keep your story going. <laughs>
Ha, 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 ha,